Well, people get hung up on the ratings when you look at specific things. Like I was blown away to learn you've only given one five-star rating to a TNA match. And I was like, come, come on. Have you, I mean, I, I was blown away to learn Kurt Angle's never had a five-star match. Yeah, like, but he's, had, he's had tons of four and three quarters, which is basically the same thing. It's just like the it's little- It's not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think anything over, to me mentally, anything over four is is great. And um, so if you say I've never given Kurt Angle a four-star match, you know, whatever. No, you've but, given him plenty of four-star matches. But, but, like, but I mean, five, it's like, it's like, yeah, could you say that uh, the Chris Benoit match at Royal Rumble was a five-star match? I was pretty damn close. But I like said Kurt Angle know? versus Samoa Joe in TNA. Hell yeah. You think so? I, I never I, I, I will say I was I, I, I thought there were, you know, great Kurt Angle Samoa Joe matches in TNA. I never saw one as a as a five star match. And I mean, it's like wow. whatever. I mean, five stars to me is like that's like freaking, you know, elite, elite, elite level, you know, like, um, you know, it, it's it's and, you know, I don't know that. You know, again, I'm you're arguing a quarter of a star or whatever, but it's like I, I never thought Although about it. I will it. say, whether I, I, I mean, I, I, I probably quarter or four and a half. That five star is a benchmark. That's that's a big that's a well, big benchmark for people. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be because if you're at four and three quarters, that means I'm thinking that you should be considered for match of the year. 